on April 8th. Class will be in session for Austin ISD. We are super excited to have our kids on campus that day. While some districts canceled school for the total eclipse, Austin ISD decided to use the date to educate students about the event. So we know that our students are best served when they're on our campuses. We're able to provide them with instruction and the resources they need. Also, this is a once in a lifetime opportunity for our students in this area. Every student and staff member will be given approved glasses to safely view the eclipse and safety is the top priority. We have videos showing how to put the glasses on and I know our campuses are also practicing with the kids, especially our young kids to make sure they know how to put them on. The main concern that we have is damage to the retina. So there is a condition called solar retinopathy. That's just a fancy word of saying that your retina gets damaged from looking at a really bright light. Denise Smith is the clinical director for the Center for Vision Development. While she hasn't seen any cases like this, injuries from looking into the sun do happen. Some of the effects? Permanent vision loss. That doesn't happen all the time. But we also can see things like blurry vision or distorted vision. Um, headaches, light sensitivity. Smith says if you notice issues with your kid's vision, reach out to a doctor to get them checked out. Also make sure if you'll be viewing the eclipse that your glasses are official eclipse glasses and not a knockoff. It is super important to view safely and rec you know we recommend the solar eclipse glasses. In AISD, parents and volunteers will be on hand to help to make sure students have the best possible time. We remind them it's just like any other day when we're outside during recess, in between classes, you never want to look at the sun. The Bill Ramadna, KXAN News.